Are there some adjustments I can make defensively? Um, I'm not going to let none of those foul calls change my aggression. Um, mainly just showing my hands early, you know, letting the refs know where I'm at. Um, feeling the refs out throughout the game on, on my physicality, on how I'm playing my defense. But it was pretty frustrating. You know, we, we really wanted that game. And, you know, I um, just felt that as a team, we needed a little bit more effort. They played harder than us. And, yep, there was the results. And, you know, you, you know how competitive Book is. And so when he comes off maybe a, a tough shooting night, like he had just, what do you, what have you seen from him in the past, you know, day and a half? Just to be like, okay, he's he's locked back in. He's ready oh, yeah. to go back in. Yeah, oh, just yeah. give us a sense of that. Yeah, it gets pretty scary after that. Um, um, Just knowing his mentality and knowing that games like that don't really slow him down. Um, You know, it's just one of those games, but I definitely know he'll step up. And as a team, we'll step up as well. Had that people always say he's got that dog in him. I mean, you've been with him now your whole NBA career. When did you first see that in him? And maybe what do you wish that people could see, like if they were a fly on the wall, like the work that he puts in, the all that stuff? Really, book book put in work really when no one's watching, to be honest. And that dog's been him since I've been in here day one. You know, just always being on me, you know, whether we didn't have the wins to back it up. But that man always been on me from day one, me and Mikhail. And, you know, just knowing the game and knowing how he approached the game. I wish the world could see how hard he works and, you know, the results they see on the court. Take a couple questions on Zoom. Go ahead, please. Um, next is going to be Trevor Booth from Right Side of the Sun, followed by Nicole Jarena. Hey, D.A., just bouncing off Gina's question, what are the challenges of contest, contesting Giannis effectively, given his length and the way he's aggressively coming at you? And maybe to where does he rank in terms of difficulty of guys you've had to defend throughout your career? Um, I really don't have nobody rank or really think about that. But, you know, Giannis has an awareness where he do go for, um, he does put his head down going for fouls. And, you know, he's really lengthy and strong. But you just have to keep up, you know, match the physicality and not, really back down or try to brace contact because that's where the fouls come in. But he is a difficult dude to, child to contest when he's in rhythm. Next up is Nicole Jarena from Puerto Rico. Hi, DA. I hope you're doing well. What is your preparation and mentality facing the next game? I'm just mainly approaching it the right way, watching a lot of film from last game, seeing where my, my mistakes were. Um, just mainly trying to stay on the floor the whole time of the game and just trying to stay away from foul trouble. You know, um, I think that's, you know, that's an awareness I see on the court where they're trying to attack me. So it's just me bracing and being aware of what's coming next. Um, we're going to go to Antonio Miske from Brazil. Hey, DeAndre, I'm Antonio from Brazil. You and Michael joined the NBA together in 2018 draft. You were on of the reference in game one, and he was in game two. How have you, the youngest of the team, been faced together the first playoffs of your careers? Um, who was the second guy? Michael, Michael Bridge. Um, Michael, me, oh, me and Mikhail? Yes. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, us two, we always hold account each other accountable from the get-go. Um, starting in our training camp, um, it was pretty hard. Uh, you know, just going through that process of not winning and, you know, going through all them experience of adversity. Uh, you know, we stuck together and, you know, Book was the leader of all that, just keeping us level-headed and knowing that better is going to come. Um, just making sure we always work in off-season and being prepared for the next season and, you know, just seeing us two grow was, it, it's insane to see where we are. And, you know, this is where the hard work comes in and, you know, this is your results. The last question will be with Alan Silva from PZ Basket. Hi, DeAndre, it's Alan Silva from Costa Rica for PZ Basket. Well, we has had 40 in the last couple of games. What is the team's strategy to stop him from tomorrow's game? I'm basically showing up a wall, you know, um, you know, just being sturdy on defense and making sure we show our hands and not really getting into foul trouble, you know, as a team, you know, making sure we have a strong defense and we're all, all back on defense. Back into the room here goes head Steve. Steve McGargy, Associated Press. You've done a really good job of avoiding foul trouble this postseason up until Sunday. Is it 
any concern the way Sunday's game went because of that? Or after looking at the film, did you kind of see what you did or what you didn't, what you can't do or that type of thing? Or? I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's loud in there, man. So, you know, anything can go any way. But uh, just in general, just uh, I'm not going to let that game bother me, to be honest. Um, you know, I think I've been playing well defense where I can, you know, be play big and, you know, just embrace contact. And, you know, just – up to however the momentum of the game is going to where, you know, we're in transition and I'm taking, you know, I'm gathering everybody around or, you know, I'm doing straight up verticality. You know, it's it's pretty hard in the playoffs where you can get a foul or not. So it's just me being sturdy and doing what I do best. Final questions in the room to Gina. Go ahead, please. I'm thinking back to before game one, when you just kind of had this light in your eyes, like walking and being like, oh, holy cow, this is the finals. Mm -hmm. um, has any of that, diminished or dissipated or does this now feel like a normal playoff series or how do you balance just okay this is the task at hand with understanding that the stage that you're on which is still pretty darn cool i think now that i got a l now now we back to business uh all the lights and you know embracing that i'm here it's finally over you know i got a i got a taste of you know losing in the finals now it's you know it's just it, i'm awake a little bit more you know not really on you know just happy to be here but you know let's get the job done Okay, great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.